Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this TP-Link Deco XC5300. So this is TP-Link's second mesh Wi-Fi 60 system. Links down below if you guys are interested and I've reviewed the first one. I'll put links for that as well. So this one covers up to 7,200 square feet, connects up to 200 devices with the speed rating of AXC5300. Taking a quick glance at the back, we could see all of the important features are highlighted. So what is a mesh Wi-Fi? Mesh Wi-Fi is really a Wi-Fi dead zone killer. So three of these act as a single network with one Wi-Fi name. And so if I take my phone, I'm in this room, I'm going to connect to that one automatically. If I walk to the other one, it'll switch me to the, uh, this other one. And if I walk to the other room, it'll switch me over to the other one. All done automatically. I don't have to do anything at all. I connect to one SSID and I'm good to go. Now, Wi-Fi 6C operates on the new 6 gigahertz band, which is typically faster and a lot less congested, helping the speeds. Granted, it does have shorter range. Now, even if you don't have Wi-Fi 6C devices, since there aren't too many out right now, this can still be used as a dedicated wireless backhaul band which should result in good speeds throughout your network, even in a wireless backhaul configuration. Now, TP-Link also includes parental controls, quality of service, comprehensive reports, and network protection. Unboxing this three pack, we get three individual routers actually. Granted, only one of them is going to act as the router in the main network. The other two will act as nodes and you don't actually have to use all three. You could use one, two or three. Now they come with three gigabit ports and they are auto sensing. So you can hook up the bottom one or any one you want to your modem. And then the other ones you can use to connect to a switch or to the, one of the other nodes for a wired backhaul connection. So you have a lot of choices. Then you have the power port and on the bottom we have a reset switch. It does include three power adapters and each one is 100 to 240 volts. So it should work in most places and you do get a five foot cable. You do also get an ethernet cable. Granted, it doesn't say if it's cat 5 or cat 6 or cat 7, but I'm assuming it's at least cat 5 which supports gigabit. And finally, the manual. Much, much, much later. It's been three weeks since I've unboxed this thing. I've been using it as my main mesh system and so far so good. So no problems, no drops. Super easy to set up using the Deco app, which is available both on Android and on iOS. Now for my testing environments, I use my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is my Wi-Fi 6 device, and the combination of my Galaxy S22 Ultra and Pixel 6 Pro for my Wi-Fi 6E devices. Now the numbers from these two are very similar to each other, so I just wrote down the Samsung numbers. Now starting off with the internet speed test. No matter how fast your router or mesh system is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speed. So in my case, that would be 940 megabits per second download and 880 megabits per second upload. And notice I said megabits per second, not megabytes per second, because one byte is equal to eight bits. And again, I always say that in every single video, but I have to be clear. Starting off with my computer that's hooked up via ethernet to this thing, I get those full speeds, no problem. However, the Wi-Fi devices are a different story. Looking at the results from my Wi-Fi 6 device, there is a reduction in speed, especially in the upload section. And the same is true for my Wi-Fi 6E device. Not as bad, but still a drop in speed. Now this is very typical with most, or pretty much all mesh systems, that I test. Now to truly find out the capabilities of this mesh system, we remove my ISP and the public speed test server from the equation by making my computer into a local speed test server. So in this case, I go from phone to router to computer, isolating the router, which gives me amazing <laughs> results. As you guys can see, we get pretty much close to gigabit speeds for both the Wi-Fi 6 and the Wi-Fi 6E devices. Granted, for the Wi-Fi 6, the upload is not quite as fast, but still a vast improvement over the internet speed test. The ports on this thing are limited to gigabit, so Wi-Fi 6C can actually go faster than this if the ports on this weren't limited to gigabit. So if, this, if one of these was a 2.5 gigabit port, Wi-Fi 6E would go even faster than gigabit. I'm estimating I'd probably get around 14, 1500 down and around the same for the upload. Now jumping to wired backhaul, this is going to give you the best, most consistent speed. So what is wired backhaul? So if this is your main one that's hooked up to your modem, then this is the secondary one that you have an ethernet cable going from any one of these ports to any one of these ports and there can be an unmanaged switch in between them. I will do a full setup video on how to connect this with different switches, modems, all that stuff, the whole 
every type of combination. So smash that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And looking at these numbers, you can see that they're very similar to the single router configuration. So you're getting the best possible numbers because of this dedicated ethernet cable. Now, jumping to wireless backhaul. Wireless backhaul is exactly the same thing as wired backhaul, except you remove the ethernet cable that's connecting them to each other. So in this case, if this one is hooked up to my server via ethernet, this guy is, let's just say one or two rooms away. In my case, that's around 40 feet away and it's plugged into power and it's wirelessly talking to this main one. So again, when I do the speed test, I'm close to this one. So it goes through this one wirelessly to this guy and then to my server, which still gives very good results. Honestly, this thing did phenomenal considering it's wireless backhaul and this is thanks to the dedicated 6 gigahertz backhaul. Now if you're wondering if you make the 6 gigahertz a dedicated backhaul can you connect Wi-Fi 6E devices directly to that and the answer is no you cannot. So these numbers are actually my 6 gigahertz device, 6C device connecting to the 5 gigahertz band so and I'm still getting very good numbers. Now when I did turn off the dedicated backhaul, the 6 gigahertz as a dedicated backhaul so that I can connect my devices to it, the speeds did slow down. So you kind of want that option enabled. I mean, it's best to try it in both cases, but in my case, there was a huge difference with it on. Now getting into the range of this thing, range will vary based on location. So if you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of wireless interference, like a lot of the routers around, all of this stuff can hurt your range. I am in more of an open area than I used to be. So with this thing starting at 20 feet away, we get some pretty good speed. So hardly a drop. At 50 feet away, this is when I'm outside. There are a few walls and there is a drop, but we're still going very strong. At 100 feet away, I'm across the street, still getting some pretty good numbers and it takes me all the way up to 320 feet, which is very impressive considering the price of this thing. Now to set up and configure this thing, you use the Deco app, which is available both on iOS and on Android. And it's one of my favorite apps, if not my favorite app, because it's so simple to use and it's a very nice clean interface. It's really the interface that I like a lot about it because it's not buggy, everything's very organized, all of your main stuff is in one section and then if you wanna tinker with it some more, there's an advanced section. You also get some basic parental controls included for free, which is a nice thing because not all mesh systems include that. So it's nice that they do. You can also pause individual stuff even if you're not into parental controls and things like that. So very, very clean, nice interface with a decent number of options. Now, is it worth getting these? Why or why not? Well, the answer is it depends on your situation. So I would say this is a very good fit for anyone with internet speeds of up to gigabit, whether you're gonna use wired or wireless backhaul, because even the wireless backhaul on this was very, very good. And it has a very nice clean app that just works. And it has a lot of range considering the price of this thing. And generally speaking, you're getting a lot of performance for the price, and which is typically true for most of the decos that I've tested. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.